Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to discuss about eligibility profile in benefit module. So what is the eligibility profile? Basically, as a part of eligibility, we define a set of conditions and call it an eligibility profile. So eligibility profile is used across various HCM modules like compensation, benefit, absence, management, etc. So here we are going to talk about eligibility profile under the benefit module. Okay, so let's start today's session. So we are going to start with the two types of eligibility profile here, the participant and the de uh, dependent. So we are going to use the participant profile to define criteria for employees or ex-employees who are eligible for company sponsored benefit. Maybe they are retirees and you are still carrying them for the benefit. So we then have what are called the dependents here. And these are used for the participants, spouse, family members, or other individuals who qualify as dependents. So when we define eligibility profile, we have to select the types of the profile that we are defining here. So there are two types that exist, the participant and the dependent. So the participant profile is looking for criteria about the participants themselves. And then we have um, next, we have the dependent profile. These profile are used to look at things for the dependent within the participants enrollment, such as the spouse and the family members or anybody who might qualify as a dependent here. So let's just move on to the application and let's see how we can create these eligibility profile in the application. Okay, so this is the application and I log in as an implementation user. So what you have to do, you have to just go to the benefit administration option and just click on the plan configuration option. Here you can find the eligibility profile here also and you can also find under the task pane here the eligibility profile, right? So let's just click on it here. When you click on the create drop down option, you can see here there is a two types of the eligibility profile, the participant profile and the dependent profile. Okay, so we are going to create both the profiles here. So these are the example basically we are going to create the part under the participant profile we are going to create these example and under the dependent profile we are going to create these options. Okay, so let's just move on to the application again. And first what we have to going to create the participant profile. So let's just click on it. Here give the name of the participant profile. And here under the eligibility criteria, you have to click on the other option. And you have uh, here uh, what we have here, the benefit groups. Okay, so we are going to add the benefit group. So just click on the create option here. Here, just give the number sequence 10. And here, associate your benefit group. Under the drop down, you can find your benefit group. So we created the fusion benefit group. So I just select here. And what we have to do next, we are going to the employment tab here. And under the employment tab, just go to the assignment status and click on the create option. Here, just give the number sequence number and here what we have to select the active payroll eligible okay now what we have to do we have to go to the assignment category here 
and click on the create option. Give the sequence number and select the um, option under the full time or the part time option. So here we are going to select uh, full time regular. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to just click on the save and close options. So we created one type of the participant eligibility profile for the benefit group and the employment also. Okay. Now we are going to create our next example, next participant profile where we are going to create the under age. So here just give the name. And then what we have to do, we have to uh, go to the drive factor option here and then go to the A sub tab and just click on the create option. Here, fill the sequence number here and select the age we created this one and just click on the save and close option. So this is how we can associate drive factor with the eligibility profile and first we created we associate the benefit group with the eligibility profile now we are going to add another drive factor so give the name for this eligibility profile which is a Use an age 19 to 64. Okay, now what we have to do, we have to just go to the drive factor again and under that click on the age sub tab and just click on the create option. Just give the sequence number and find the age. this one and now what we have to do just click on the save and close option so let's just create last participant eligibility profile here so fill the name here And again, go to the drive factor under the A sub tab, just click on the create option. And here give the sequence and from the age option, just find the age here and just click on the save and close option. Okay, so this is how we can create the participant profile. So where we associate the benefit group with the eligibility profile, the drive factor with the eligibility profile now we are going to create the dependent so just click on the create drop down and select the create dependent profile here okay here we have to fill the eligibility profile name And then go to the eligibility criteria here and just click on the other option. Sorry, just click on the relationship option here and just click on the create option and find the relationship. Okay, so this is the one and now we are going to create click on the save and close option okay and now we are going to create another dependent profile here so we give the name
diffusion dependent child under age nineteen. And just go to the relationship sub uh, sub tab. And what we have to do, we have to just click on the create option here. But before that, we have to go to the age sub tab. And here, just click on the create option. Fill the sequence ten here, and select the age. And now we have to go to the relationship option and click on the create option. So here we have to add the child also. Just add the another row and select the adopted child. And again, create, select the stepchild here. Okay, and now just click on the save and close option. So this is how we can create the eligibility profile and under the eligibility profile, we associate the benefit group with the eligibility profile and also associate the drive factor with the eligibility profile and the relationship category. So this is how we can create the eligibility profile and after that, uh, where we use these eligibility profile. So when we create the plan, go to the program and plan option and here click on the plan sub tab and just go to the quick create plan option. So when you are creating the plan here, you can see the option participant eligibility profile. So here you can add your eligibility profile with your plan. Okay, so this is where you can add your eligibility profile and this is the use of your eligibility profile. You can see here, we just created these eligibility profiles. So I hope it is clear to you how we can create the eligibility profile and where we can associate those eligibility profiles. So thank you so much for watching the video.